Feel like I'm watching George Floyd die again, only the country version. May I say that it is a honor to have such a dedicated, united, and harmonious group got here together to fight the forces of satanic evil. Listen, uh, listen, buddy. Uh, I'm not your buddy. I, I, I'm not your buddy. Okay, pal. Not your uh, pal either. I'm your, I'm your enemy. I'm, I'm on the other side of a burnt bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Basically, Crips versus Bloods. This is why you don't fuck with someone that other people call the Supreme Dark Lord. They would like to see World War Trans immediately. <laughs> let them just break off the pool cue and let's have tryouts. I don't care at this point. Come, I suppose I was not expecting the finish Antifa. Nobody expects the finish Antifa. If Russia can't field 40 or 50,000 soldiers to hold on to Kherson, uh, questions would have to be asked about... But there is no need to jet into the mindset of coping on the Takan. Oh yeah, that is the good stuff of... The capital building has been entirely replaced with demonic shrines that are forever stained with blood. It's all true. It's all true. I saw it all while I was in there. That will be all, Mr. Dogan. Bye, my boy. Putin's pleasure weapon. Ah, I like that. You are a small human being. It is a taboo, yes, I'm proud of that. To teach your right to speak to my sister, you have right. I'm the most honest you journalist small, in the world. Human being. You are the supporter of terrorism. On hate. You are the and furthermore, he has an exilier. I swear, dude. I swear these people are like fucking with me. These are internet blood sports rules, Destiny. The, the guy who wins is, is, is the guy who loses. Okay? Now I'm gonna bid you goodbye. Okay. Fuck you bye. die. Die painfully, I hope. <laughs> Mr. Medvedev, you can jet medical assistance on your own time. Ooh, I must have fallen asleep. Did I miss something? Good birdie. What a wonderful three-hour lecture on the utter superiority of orthodox theology. I know that the patriarch is quite pleased. Oh Putin, you are good as holy and blessed messiah, destined to save mature Russia and the whole world. Always good to hear your affirmation as holy father. And it is always good to offer you my full and unconditional support. And look, we have already accomplished the exorcism of the Nazis from Mariupol, cleansing away tear will presence. And their Nazi satanic child abusing idols, from what I heard. Biden and his child molesting rings won't be smuggling any more Ukrainian kids out under President Putin's watch. Indeed, my child. And it is for the reason, among many others, that all our soldiers who die in battle go straight to heaven, no matter what they've done. For this is God's holy special military operation. By God's will. By God's will. Praise Jesus. Before we continue further, I would like to briefly drive a shout out to those who called not be visos. I had previously invited one of the most dedicated and loyal of Russians, Vladimir Solovayev, but he unfortunately suffered an aneurysm on live television. That's really unfortunate that he ended up hospitalized. And just as he was calling for the necessity of using nuclear weaponry. I tell you, it's a bold man who can appreciate that perspective. I thought it happened will he was attempting to reenact Judges chapter 19 with Margarita Simonian, just to demonstrate what needed to be done with Ukraine. Judge 19. Holy crap! Look, he was trying to do something from the Bible. I don't think we should question his sanity on that account. Moving on, Glenn Greenwald's schedule was unfortunately consumed by his side business. However, he gave him a very nice compliment. He says that I have a better body than most of the actors he has known.
and it's a very hot side business, if you know what I mean. We're talking about his gay pornography side business, right? Not that I would know anything about that. Scott Ritter would have been here, but you unfortunately he got arrested on child pornography charges. Domnit. This is exactly why we need anarchy. Do you have any more drugs for sale? Of course. We've got anything you need, Mr. Medvedev. Ted Nugent sent his regrets, but as the following clip demonstrates, his absence was well worth it. I want my money back! I didn't authorize any money to Ukraine to some homosexual weight weirdo! And to all the others, all across the world, I drive you my love. It is a great responsibility to join our undertaking. You have my thanks and my gratitude. And, of course, Robles. And you on, right? Well, of course, that goes without saying. Speaking of you on, I'd like to talk about something I'm very passionate about. This is not about China, is it? Maybe. Moving on. Damn it, the door is always acting up. Always back and forth, skipping. Hold on, drive a moment. All right, that should stop the door from annoying them. Moving on. I understand exactly why each of you is getting out here. I want to re reclaim that space for Christ. It should be cool. To be good. It should be Aaron. cool to be moral. It should be cool to be righteous. And, and, and to have a higher power um, that loves you and has died for your sins. You know? Jesus Christ was cool. He was the cool, like literally the coolest person. Ever. Adam. This is one of the many reasons why Christianity has to be re-implemented in our society. That it has to be held as the core standard in which we base our values off of. Adam, I understand exactly why each of you is getting out here. I'll talk about whatever the fuck I want, nigga. Like, who the fuck are you? Why do I do uh, nothing? Nothing. Nothing infuriates me more than when I'm sitting here talking about something and niggas in the chat talk about this instead. How about you go fucking like jump off a bridge, faggot? Like, how about you let me direct the flow of my show how I fucking want to? You fucking dumb, disrespectful nigga. Like, shut the fuck up, man. I hate that shit. This is such a big pet peeve of mine. Talk about the thing I want to hear about. Leave. Leave. If you don't like it, leave. Like, get the fuck out of here, faggot. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not here to impress or to do your fucking bidding. I'm literally 30 minutes into this fucking stream. And you're already, talk about this thing instead. How, fucking kill yourself, man. Like, how about that? So I see like a substance around the ring of my chicken sandwich, like some sort of like gelatinous substance around the ring of my, my chicken sandwich. Yeah. What's up, Nick? Fries first. Thank you. You get it too. Thank you. Fries first. And then you eat the burger. Yes. Or the sandwich, whatever the fuck. I see this gelatinous ring. And honestly, my first thought was like, oh, my DoorDasher. Like, fucked my chicken sandwich and came in it. That's fucked up. And honestly, that would have been preferable to what I actually received, which was a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A with fucking American cheese on it. I'm 
American cheese on a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich? Who in the fuck orders this? I didn't eat it. I did not eat it. I was like so astounded. I was so fucking disturbed by what I saw. I, I th This is like not even a food combination that has ever even crossed my mind, okay? I mean, you know, look, if you were on Twitter back in the day, everybody remembers the nigga that fucked the McChicken, okay? That was like a day in Twitter history that everybody remembers, okay? I understand exactly why each of you is getting hair today. Against the western world of hate and despair, we want to create a universe that is more loving, more tolerant, more equitable, and fairer. And it is in that spirit that I welcome our next speaker, Andrew Inglin. You know, it's like, well, it was me, uh, Ricky Vaughn, Anglin and Beardson and Sean were, uh, were the primary guys. And I feel like we're, we're really the only ones uh, who, who fully grasp and like completely grasp uh, like the, the tone of America first in the sense of like and, and directionally like the right position on all the issues because it was the four of us back then that were like, okay like the alt-right's gotta go and like keeping enough of the um like irreverent controversial stuff edgy stuff uh and and with the right amount of i guess you could say like substance and seriousness yeah like anklin just makes me die he's like i read him every day and just like and it's just one guy like it's and that's heroism that's legend you know here's one brilliant hilarious incisive just one literally one of the best writers period and instead of writing for fucking breitbart instead of writing for whatever he just went rogue and does his own thing and gets banned from everything and then stays the course and then faithfully executes what he does with excellence every day at a high level with incredible volume and basically getting nothing in return getting no accolades getting no fame no money like nobody's going on fox and giving him flowers nobody's Nobody's inviting him on Tim Pool or whatever. When the censorship conversation goes, nobody brings up his name except for me. You know, Alex Jones doesn't talk about him. These other people, and you know, it's not a dig at Jones, but it's like nobody brings his name up because you can't. And like I, like that guy is like a literally the definition of a living legend because they just don't make people like that that's like a one in a billion person because everybody else is too fucking weak and stupid and sad and just a loser to do that because anybody else would be like oh like it's just getting too hot oh well you know time to call the quits and like just you know people like that are the real heroes not these people that are like oh i have to make like a thousand compromises every day before i get out of bed but that's just how it works it's like that the kind of character that that requires to do what he does is just transcendent thank you now then we all know that the satanic west is fully committed to the obliteration of christianity and the propagation of demonic evil a brilliant point andrew and the evil Nazi satanic puppet government in Kiev makes ample uses of filthy satanic pagans, like the Azov Battalion. And may I remind you that these subhuman creeps murdered tens of thousands of helpless Russian women and children in their reign of terror, and the West has the nerve to call others evil. Point. 
and it's all been orchestrated by the puppeteering hands of the kikes. It's all the Jews. It's all. Ah, uh, Andrew, Andrew. Uh, I gotta find some rape mods for this, though. There has to be, like, a rape mod, right? Hyper-realistic rape mods can turn this country around. So true. Unironically. And we're back. This time from Rwanda. Anyways, as I was saying, the world has been infected with a vast network of parasitic kazers, a people who have never done anything else but eat and consume resources. They're filthy, disgusting, abominable. Each and every one of them should be. Adam, Andrew, Andrew, go a bit easy on that subject. Kazakhstan is still our rally until such time as we see fit to annex it as northern provinces for the sake of the glorious motherland, of course. Exactly, and not all of them are bad, or so I'm told. Firstly, yes, they are. Secondly, I wasn't exactly referring to Kazers there. So you weren't referring to the actual Hazars who in talking about the Hazars. I will allow it. Anyways. Every piece of support that the West sends is in support of a fake gay puppet state nation that they call Ukraine. And Ukraine is a hateful fantasy designed to steal the destiny of Russia and destroy its population. Exactly. It has the right of every great people to get your it is own and a single imperial state, a nexus civilizational point in the world. And that is exactly what must be done to the Ukraine, Belarus, and all the other places where our people dwell. That is why we are not even at war right now. How can I be at war with a country that does not exist? How can one genocide a people that does not exist? May I prove my contention? Prof. Ahit, Andrew. Here you see the commander of the former Azov battalion, the same one that the glorious Ram Zed Kod Arad, Allah preserve that great modern Conan, defeated personally. I remember it well. We performed an excellent denazifying operation on Mariupol and even exorcist the building from Tear Demon Magics of Satan. And as we did, he patriarch Krivel. We exorcist them, my president. Got only cars about secret Russia. Exactly. We have we pet out the field of the Nazi and soon we will destroy all that they killed dear, freeing our people from tear grasp. And they'll never get to use those bio labs that they were protecting. The what? The. The bio labs that presented massive security risks to all of Russia? No, that was a complete fabrication. But maybe, if we believe hard enough, we could convince ourselves that it was true. Does it work like that? Damn it, it was real to me. It was real to me. Fair enough. Now then, let me give you a very visible presentation of the future the West is preparing for Russia. Here you see the subhuman Nazi kike in its most vile component, posing as a glorious Aryan. Note the beady eyes, the gross nose, the loathsome expression. Everything about the degenerate physique is disgusting, an obvious fit for the loathsome soul possessed by the Jew. Andrew, Andrew. Ah, and you fucking dog shit, your mother's a fucking cunt. You, yo, yo, listen, listen. Your parents failed you. Your parents fucking failed you, see? That's all you gotta say now. You're a fucking faggot. Scoreboard, shut the fuck up. You fucking suck, dude. Scoreboard, that's all I got to fucking say. You fucking suck. Suck my fucking dick. I'm sorry you're trash at fucking video games. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe you should go back to working at fucking McDonald's. You see, I got the fucking play of the game because I'm the fucking Aryan super soldier while you're nothing more than a bunch of fucking degenerate, dirty faggots. Look at that. Look at me fucking cleansing you off the fucking face of the planet, you fucking retards. Tonga is a glorious island, known for its great internet hosting. Alright. Now, compare the physiognomy of the subhuman Nazi phage Christ killer there to the supreme image of an Aryan on the right. See the fine lines of his chin, the glorious eyes, the handsome physique. Yes, that's truly what a man of Christ's race looks like.
And all the girls in the clubs can't keep their hands off of his glorious body. At least, that's what they say in Thailand about him. And may I say that a degenerate physiognomy is usually the indicator of a soulless degenerate mind. No offense to our Antifa friends over there. Nantaken, you fascist jackass. Hey, be a nice. Sorry. Mr. Fascist Jackass. That's better. You sleek a mother taught you. Any concluding thoughts? Yes. In summary, Ukraine doesn't exist, Russia is awesome, and the Fog West deserves to be nuked. And screw the wordless Anglo-Saxon devils, am I right, am I right? Yeah. Thank you for your efforts. Im ser the tolku over tjor vult agri. I'm not actually Q, but I have written several Conservapedia articles. Of course you have. Anything to add, Mr. Prigazain? Oh, no, just making plans to have someone kid. Excellent, then let us continue. Now, I know how dedicated you all are to the cause. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. We all we always go back to the details. This is why you are simply not equipped to understand foreign relations because you interpret it from the the right stuff meme lens of you know this sounds really cool. Based Assad, based North Korea, based Russia. Let me tell you something. Russia is a degenerate country. Do you know how many abortions they have in Russia? People who say, you know, you're really on board with all these Russophiles. Yeah, we shouldn't be enemies with Russia, but let's not pretend like Assad, North Korea, and Russia are real winners like you like to make them out. We should right. be allies with Iran and Syria because uh, they're, they're nationalists. There's a little bit more to international politics than ideology. And, well, and, and, and I'm, I will say, the fact of the matter is a part of me is like fucking stunned because I'm realizing shit I used to be like this kid oh my god I am here to debate Nick let's see if your boy is really willing to go live and debate the holocaust he's not a denier he publicly stated that 6 million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. Wonderful. Let's talk about that. Let's debate that. It's not a trap at all. See, this is the difference between a little puppy who thinks about optics and a political philosopher who only cares about the truth. You know? It's time to teach the puppy a lesson. Bring me Nick. Let's debate, Nick. Come on, little Nicky titty baby. You want to debate? Your, your guys want to talk about how smart you are? I'm much smarter than you are. You know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Look, go back on Reddit. Go back on Reddit, you okay. fag. Regardless, as valuable as your contributions have been to the efficacy of the special military operation, we cannot win this propaganda. <coughs> Educationally for the salon. Thus, the intelligence operations of our allies are critical. With that in mind, let us all jive a warm welcome to Captain Javet of the Iranian Republican Guards. Can you all say, hi, Captain Javet? Hello, Hello, hi, Captain Hello, Captain Javed. Hello, friends, Hanod Guest's Idea Propagators. I would like to discuss some important intelligence information that my government has recently acquired. Critical to our defense. Yes, we have discovered that the United States and NATO by extension is actually a front for a group of Nazi aliens headed by a species known as the Tall Whites. <coughs> every single one of their technological advancements, every devilish strategy that their dunes Jew and Anglo-Saxon means have used to foil our plans, it is all the result of the Tall Whites and their evil alien federation. You can see the short of freak shui, redealing with just by their pictures.
Yes, it is all been the result of evil plans, evil objections, evil for its own sake, malicious, cruel, inhuman means. And these are the same aliens who were running the Nazis, da? Yes, this exact same power brought the Nazis into existence, them and the fascistic alliance. We thought that we, Dion the war, however the devils cut a deal with the government of the us, and now rule and influence them. Well, let us not excuse the fiendish mindes of the Atlantean Anglo-Saxons. I fully agree, as I am sir everyone else in this room does. Dear I is wanting the trouble me about this finding. Yes, President Putin. Captain, are you denying that America and Britain are run by Satan? No, President Putin, we all never deny such an obvious truth. The Blessed Ayatollah says that the aliens are working for the devil. Which means that they've been providing call of tear demonically acquired secrets to the enemy. Exactly. Fuck Satan. Amen brother Medvedev. Amen. It is just as if Said Trahout this and sure special military operation. We have been facing na na tört an nato cyborg destruper na this equipped with satanic alien technology. And we have been beating them. <coughs> President Putin, in the unlikely event of defeat, what is your plan? My plan. Let me tell you, Putin will not be an otir Qaddafi or Hussein. We, if that happens the real government of Russia will flee to South America and continue the fight from our bankers. We're going to, like, you know how TWP has their, like, place? We're going to build a compound and we'll have uh, cat boys everywhere. They'll be serving steaks and ice cream and warm cookies and Burger King and we'll be playing Fortnite and it'll oh, and nobody will nobody will grow old and... why are you gay are you dating any female uh uh lesbian homosexual how can i describe you you are gay why should someone be gay now I may enjoy the occasional make-out session with little boys' stomachs, but that is a bit too gay for me. I am, of course, open to at your suggestions. You know, Central Africa, Argentina, a whole world of at your list to bring the glory of Vladimir Putin, the soul of Russia. Uganda will fight to the death for the existence of Moscow. I'll have 30,000 troops in Russia at your signal, President Putin. You do have the air transports to get us there, right? I was keen to assuming that you'd be pulling off some James Cabar and BB Yellivel stuff. Of. <coughs> well, El Mexico is lovely, even got links to some of the spicier cartels, but I'm gonna say that is still off the table due to the monsters north of the border. Any your ideas about Tingus we should da? Speaking theoretically, of course. Brittany, if I ever see you, I'm gonna rape you. In person. And I'm married. I'm going to fucking put my dick in your fucking asshole. Even though, if, even if you never had anal sex. Like, I'm gonna hold you down, I'm gonna grab you by the back of your head, and I'm gonna put, I'm, I'm not, no lube. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove your pants, I'm gonna remove my pants, I'm gonna stick my dick in your ass, I'm gonna rape you. Because you're such a dumb fucking bitch. That you do not understand, you you have involved yourself into a community that you do not understand, and for that you're going to get anally raped. Okay. But hey, we focus on defeat. Victory is certain, forgot and Russia on our side. Hail to me. Can we give a round of applause for Russia? Yes.
Absolutely. Absolutely. <coughs> You're going to be walking away like, oh, you know, I beat CRP. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Well, you have never, you have never been like me. If you were ever like me for more than half a second, your fucking brain would melt out your fucking ears. Okay. You've mm -hmm. never been like me. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's just, this is just bad for you. I don't know why you're, why are you still here? People can't get in my face for being mean or overkill because you're still here. Take your lumps. It's sad. You shouldn't let a young kid like me bully you around. You're like three times my age or two and a half times mm -hmm. my age. It's mm -hmm. bad. Go now. Just get out. Huh? I love you. Huh? Say that you love me. Notice me. Please notice me. <coughs> Would you like to come to my place later? I don't usually do Jews, but you're pretty cute. I've already used up all my ammo. Prematurely? Eh, small loss. American women have BMAs so large even more bikes could not miss it. How dare you? You're going to hell. Uh, no. God, that just makes you so much more attractive. I'm going to be sick. You shut the hell up. I remember when he used to eat that good back when he had a bunch of taxpayer funded palaces. Ooh, work it boy. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh baby. <laughs> 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 